Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis in the All-Star tab. Going to take a look at the second round. Uh, today we will do Continent 4 and 3. There is one day and five hours until Battlefield Round 2 kicks off. Tomorrow we'll do uh, Continent 2 and Continent 1. Uh, things that I heard in the first uh, rounds feedback, pretty much the same across all continents, was lots of fun. Everybody really liked it, especially people who come from smaller alliances or it's their first time in All-Stars that, wow, is it ever fast. So people really liked that. Just a uh, great time had by all. The other comment that I heard was this format of four teams really does eliminate point trading and cheating, but it does remove the incentive of the top players once they've secured top three for their teams and they have automatic qualifiers if you're the to continue to fight. So what happens is basically if you're the rally setter on your team, you're in on every rally. You're never getting bounced out. And whoever sets rallies tends to get more points. So if you got two or three guys or ladies who are setting your rallies, come half an hour into the battle, they're far ahead from everyone else on your team in points, and they're in the top three to move on team-wise. They got guaranteed spots. They don't have much incentive to use their own inventory and heal to help everybody else. Uh, not saying that's the same on every team, but that is a factor. I guess it's a trade-off that Evany has. Uh, anyways, let's look at how people will qualify for the next round. It's the exact same as the first round. First place team gets 20 out of their 25 people to advance. Second place team gets 15. Third place gets 5. And then the remaining uh, spots go to wild card. Anybody on any team. So the next highest ranked players all go in. And that's how it goes. So we are in continent 4. Let's take a look at them. And instead of predicting, I'm just going to read everybody's name who's in this because it's such an honor to have your name read. So take 0919 10.satfire Andronica K dash dash bullseye. Just joking. Uh, anyways, uh, let's uh, make some predictions here. So we got Eagle, 14.3 billion going down. Dr. Tao is someone I do recognize. Vampire, nice name there. Monkey Mama, like it. Cupcake. All right, Judge Fred, good movie. And we got a little Tupac Shakur going on down there. Okay, and this team is more spread out in power, more depth, but they don't have the top end player. Reckless Bob, great name. Wonder if he's reckless because he splats all the time or like early on. And BC1389 coming in strong on server 799. A cute puppy from Japan. Rocco, lots of Japanese on this team. Chinese there, Titan, Izzy. Okay, so this is a deep team, but they don't have the top enders. But I, those, those are the type of teams I like because they can continue to fill rallies for a while. And Mithereal, the Peanut, okay, Valkyrie, Deb. Stone Cold Mofo, that's a nice name. I like that one. Troy. Again, another kind of spread out team, kind of a little deeper than the Stallions. And then here, this team just looks completely overmatched. They don't look very deep. They got a lot of low enders. Baby Shark. I really hope my daughter doesn't like that song. We try and keep it away from her. Okay, Bad Kitty. Wonder if that's the same Bad Kitty we used to have on server 136. She was a strong player, and then rumor was she caught COVID and basically got zeroed back when COVID was serious and took you, put you in the hospital and then never played again. Maybe she started over here. Who knows? But anyways, I'm just going to have to go with... Uh, I think uh, this team here, Mithereal, I think the Bears are going to take it. I think they're deeper. I think Reckless Bob's going to have a good showing there with his team, Take 09. But I think the Lions, I think you guys are going to be shooting for those wild card spots. Let's look at Group B, Night Fury. What a name. Shogun. How do you not like these names? A Helmet. I used to teach a 
kid named Helmet. Awesome. Papa Poo Poo. Who dat? B Eagle Joker. Golgotha. War Carolina. Okay, so this is, comparing to the last round, this is a nicely, fairly deep, even spread out team. This one's kind of the same, but doesn't have the same top power. We got Hammer Cause here. Black Snack. Doom. Should be Dr. Doom. Not sure if I said that last video. Joker. Egmont. Small P. Ranger. This is another team that's uh, kind of deep, not really top end. So right here, this one's kind of the same power level spread out as the first one. Iggy Pop, Dark Twilight, Little Soldier, Captain Begin, Top Shelf. wonder if that's some vodka. City Ultimate, okay. So looks like the Bears teams are uh, kind of coming in smaller than the other ones in these two. I'm going to have to go with uh, Bears team is probably also not going to get in the top three, but uh, uh, Bears kind of might be better than the uh, Stallions here. But I'm going to have to go with the, bear, the Bears here. I meant the Lions and Stallions there. So uh, uh, this match kind of seems pretty even, though. Like, it's, it's hard to predict a winner on this one. Let's look at Continent 3. We'll go to Group A. Uh, I know a lot more players here, and yeah, these are big ones. Wow, Vietnam, Illy, and Ichiro got on the same team here. And they have Mio, the fourth guy here. Mio, as I said earlier, is a great, great player. Anyone who didn't catch the last video told you how my alliance, not the one I'm in now, a smaller alliance from Continent 1, ran into this, uh, what we thought was going to be a layup, Continent 3 team, and wow, did they whoop us. Wasn't even close, and since I've actually, I talk with them once in a while, and they've uh, given me lots of good information about the game. They, it is a very good alliance. So, not even seeing the other teams here, I'm just going to say the Eagles are going to win. I have full faith in this team. But uh, just based on Mio being here, he is also the Continent 3 All-Star Champion last season. So he's looking to defend his title. Now let's look here. We got Glorfindel, Rhaegal, Moist Rock. That is a nice name. I wonder if that's a female or a male. And uh, looking down, this is a nice deep team. Prince Henry made it. Nice to, made it on. Remember him from the first round. Let's take a look here. No Mercy, Lord Casper. This team looks like they are going to be in a world of hurt. I don't... Uh, oh, but they do have uh, Nikola Volkok. Nikola Volkok. Okay, let's see how he does. And Gun Run, Demon, Aaron Gobraga. This team uh, looks pretty top heavy but they look uh they look like they got a lot of power but i think uh everyone here is just going to be getting wrecked by the eagles hard for me to see uh anything different happening here let me just look down here i just want to see if any of the brotherhood's other players are in here that is mio's team on 485 yes there is sixth place here boosty not sure if that's uh what those two symbols mean in the middle of the name if they are o's or not but we're going with this team right here uh eagle team i'm picking mio's team all the way so in the finals just letting you know i believe he's going to qualify and i'm going to pick his team again so you want to win or you want to get in the predictions to win which mean nothing get on his team so the sardine made it on hydra tuesday should be hydra monday tuesday hey the milf shake okay I'd like to uh, interview that person. And, oh, whoa, they're from Mio's team, 485. was wondering, uh, is that a female or a male? They're the interesting name. Could go either way. And let's look at the Stallions here. So this, uh, so far, it looks like pretty even teams in terms of, like, their first to their 10th player. Not too much difference in power. So I like those. Those are teams that tend to be able to fill rallies for a long time. But whoa, look out. Number nine, Shit Stain. This is my favorite player in All-Stars. Uh, lots of people in the comments mentioned 
He is also someone they are cheering for. And in sixth place here from 485, the Brotherhood as well. They also have a, a good player there as well. So this is uh, going to be a tough team. Uh, it's tough to bet against Shitstain. Also, there is a, another subscriber to my channel named Orbs. And he has a father on my, my server named Frystain. I feel like he should change his name to that, to Shitstain. Wouldn't that be something? Mr. Min, perm. Wonder if that's uh, someone from the 80s, a female with a perm. Dating myself. Probably you ki young kids don't uh, understand that hairstyle. Anyways, it should never make a comeback. Okay, so we're going to go right here. Shit stain. Bears. Going with them all the way in this round. Even though I actually, my mind says they have no chance looking at these other teams. But I just feel, I just feel he has something. I just hope he advances anyways. So this is Genghis. Uh, going to do Continent 2 and 1. I know more about those players. I'll do them uh, tomorrow and look for that. So Genghis, Server 68, good luck to all competitors. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.